Fox 23 is learning more about the congressional investigation of General Motors, specifically whether the company covered up a dangerous defect for years. But Fox 23's Washington Bureau has confirmed local members of Congress have received campaign cash from GM. Kyla Campbell investigates. We wanted to know how many Tulsa area members of Congress received contributions from GM or GM employees since 2010, so we combed through campaign finance reports collected by the Center for Responsive Politics. Oklahoma law have received relatively few GM-affiliated donations. We found $1,000 for Senator Jim Inhofe in 2014 and another $1,000 for Inhofe in 2010. Documents show the senator also reported having $50 to $100,000 in GM stock. I think it's awfully hard for a shareholder in a company to do something that's going to hurt that company's interests. Bill Allison of the Sunlight Foundation says General Motors and its workers have donated more money to lawmakers in the past three months than during all of 2010 for the last midterm elections. And that sounds like they want a lot of friends on Capitol Hill. In February, the company recalled more than 2.5 million vehicles due to a faulty ignition switch. It's tied to at least a dozen deaths in recent years. They saw these problems down the road, and there's something, you know, they wanted to get, you know, in the door ahead of, of the problems. I'm on K Street, the heart of lobbying power in Washington, D.C. Last year alone, General Motors spent $8.8 .8 million dollars on lobby groups. GM kind of stands out as a company that is spending more. He says voters should know where their lawmakers get cash and who might want a favor in return. In Washington, Kyla Campbell, Fox 23 News.